Hi, I'm Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make faux epoxy dots with Ranger's black and white accents. So let's get started. Okay, to start with our dots, I have our white and black enamel accents, and the first thing you want to do is test to make sure that the paint is flowing at the bottle before you start to make your dots. Although it's not such a tragedy because we're um, working on a nonstick craft sheet and you can wipe it off if it doesn't come out the way you want it. So you're just going to make some small dots. like so and you want to just make a, a bunch of rows and then make sure you're working on a nonstick surface because when these dry we're going to scrape them off and use them and you could do these um, to make shaker cards where which that's what we're going to do in a minute or you can use the dots separately and glue them onto your projects for accents on your cards or whatever else that you can think of that you would like to use them for. So I'll just do one more row of the white here. And when you're doing this, you probably want to just make a bunch. I would do a lot more. Um, than what I'm doing here. And you don't have to worry about being too precise. Um, I think I'm gonna make one more row that are like a little bit bigger. Okay, and then that's the white ones. And then we'll make some black dots. Same thing, you're gonna test your bottle to make sure they're flowing good. Sometimes there's a little air trapped in when you first start. And then we'll just do the same thing. You can make these as little eyes for, I don't know, something that has like a, a little cute animal stamp or something. Or you could do it directly onto your project too. You don't just have to make dots. But this way you're being safe by making them ahead of time and then you have them ready to go. And they'll dry sort of raised and shiny, just like you see here. I'm just doing one more row. I think you get the hang of it. Make a couple more bigger ones. And that's that. And now I'm gonna move these away and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's dry and how to make a shaker card. Okay, so now I have my dots that are dry and I have a scraper tool and I'm just going to scrape these off of the mat like so. And it helps if you lift, lift up the sheet and like kind of get underneath. Now that we have our dots here, I'm just gonna move them over a little bit. And I already have a card that I pre-made and I have a frame that I put a piece of acetate on. And then, so I glued that to my frame and then I have some foam tape. And we're gonna end up putting this on top like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my scraper to get some of these dots here. 
and I'm just going to position them um, in the center. Get a good little variety here. And if I wasn't doing this on camera, I might be a little fussy and turn them over all right side up. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. Sure they're all going to be in a good spot and I'll take off the adhesive backing here and I just made this frame um, Cut it from a Cricut machine, but um, I'm sure you might have a, a die cut that's a frame that you could use. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down and then give it a little shake. And there we have our cute shaker card. Okay, I'm going to put this just to the side here. And now I'm going to show you what else you can do with these dots. You can just add it to another card. So we have another shaker card that's already made. And I think it just needs a little something extra. So I'm going to take these dots and I'm going to glue them down. And I'm going to pick out um, which ones I want. Take this guy. Another white one. Like so. Let's see. I think I'm gonna get like a baby one. There. And then I'll get another white one. Good. And now I have some um, Ranger Multimedium and I'm going to adhere it with that. You can also um, adhere it with glue dots if you like. So what I'm going to do is just put um, a little bit of glue over here. And then I have a, a stylus tool and I'll put the glue at the edge and I'm just going to move this down put a little glue and then I'm just going to slide it right over. It'll dry clear. And I'll do the same for these. And all you need is a little bit of glue to stick these down. And then do this once more. And you can do this with our Stickles Glitter Glue too. You can make little dots. We have videos all about that and we'll link it in the description up above here. Okay, so that's good. I just want to wipe this glue up and I'm going to show you some more cards that we made. Okay, and let's just move this off camera. Okay, here we have a fun birthday card we made into a shaker. And 
here's where we accented the dots and see you can make them various sizes. Here's another fun one that this is in a shaker box, but they were just glued across. That's a really fun look. And then here we just have just little accents. It just adds that special finishing touch. Okay, I hope that you give this a try. And if you'd like to see more techniques using Ranger accents, keep watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you next time.